Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege, we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission showcase video. We've got some awesome Grey Knights for you to check out today. A really cool army with some awesome lava volcanic demon world basing, uh, which I do hope that you're going to like. They've been completed by Paul, one of the artists here at Siege. Let's jump in and have a look at these awesome miniatures. Right from the get-go, we've got uh, 20 infantry. Um, we've got uh, 10 purifiers and we've got 10 interceptors. Uh, so great selection of miniatures from the strike squad box. Uh, different, obviously, loadouts. Uh, let's jump in and have a look. Uh, so Paul, right from the get-go, has done an absolutely phenomenal job on these, really doing the Grey Knight scheme justice with these super clean examples of uh, the Grey Knights. Um, I love the red weapon cowlings. I just think they really work extremely well. You've got custom heraldry on each of the marines as well, so they've all got a little free-handed custom heraldry as you expect with Grey Knights. Uh, again, but every single little bit of detail fully painted, all of the, uh, the text on the purity seals, all the scrolls and everything all fully done with text and everything as you'd expect. So that's just the first one. We'll have a look at the uh, squad leader or Judicar, uh, which again, really cool, all the eyes and everything all fully painted and teeth and everything picked out on that bare head. Uh, and you can see obviously he's just wielding obviously a hammer there as you'd expect. The loincloth and everything all fully painted and multiple highlighted. Um, and then moving around the back, you can see again, all the super sharp consistency and edge highlighting done on that super clean silver. I love the really, really uh, saturated and warm gold across the uh, details and areas of uh, the models, which you'll see across all the miniatures in this uh, project. I love the uh, subtle bluish glow on the lenses of the helms as well, which is really cool. Uh, just a nice little attention to detail to give that sort of energized look on those view screens. You can see some custom heraldry there just on that shoulder pad. Also an honor written on that scroll. Uh, again, I'm not gonna pull every single one forward because they all are very, very similar in the sense of the uh, purifier units. Um, but again, you can see here all done with uh, with uh, text on the beauty seals. That one says cleanse there on that shoulder guard. And obviously you've got that unique heraldry just there. Move around the other side, you can see again all of this text and everything written on the uh, scrolls and everything as you'd expect with us here at Siege. Uh, so let's jump across and have a look at these Interceptors. Really cool models with those teleporting backpacks. Uh, again, you can see Paul's done a great job in the posing, giving them very aggressive and attacking as you'd expect with these kind of troops. Uh, I do love the brush blended uh, force weapons that are across this force. And you'll see that these in the, all these uh, Interceptors, we've got obviously the Terminators later in the force uh, that have also got fully brush blended uh, force weapons, which really really cool You've got fate written there on that scroll on his pad uh, again just blasting away with his wrist mounted storm bolter uh, we have a look at the uh, squad leader here also again just uh, firing the bolt pistol and just maybe parrying with the uh, the halberd there as you can see but again all the eyes and everything fully painted on these again just really really cleanly and well done all the gems and little screens and things done in blue just to really sort of contrast and make them stand out nicely across the miniatures uh, we'll have a look at another chap here with a halberd Again, just in a sort of defensive pose, uh, just advancing across that lava base, which is really cool. Again, it was a great basing done on these miniatures also. Uh, so that's just him. And then we'll have a look at one of the uh, sort of assault weapon armed uh, in interceptors with, uh, with that red casing there on the weapon, as you can see again. Uh, but just really nicely done. Uh, and this is just one of these awesome, awesome uh, assault weapon wielding interceptors. Uh, same on the squad at the rear. I'll pull forward a few just so you can have a look at these. Also, just to compare consistency, it's from miniature to miniature. Again, just having a look at his uh, halberd there just to see if there's any uh, detritus left from his last kill. Uh, but again, really, really cool selection of miniatures uh, in this force. And uh, these interceptors do not uh, let the force down. Uh, really hope you like them. We've got the chunky Terminators coming up next. I do hope that you can like them ever so much. So next we've got all of the Terminators slash Paladins of this awesome Grey Knight army, which we've had the pleasure of working on. And uh, there's 10 of them. Really great selection of miniatures um, in different poses with different loadouts. So hammers, you've got the Halberds. Um, Really, really well done. So let's jump in, have a look. Uh, do absolutely love Grey Knights Terminators. I think they're just incredibly cool miniatures. Again, this very aggressive sort of lunging forward, about to cleave with the uh, Halberd kind of pose. You can see all these brush blended uh, force weapons, which these guys have got, and Paul spent a lot of time doing those uh, all by brush. Also, you can see the heraldry on each of the Terminators shoulders and also on the tilt shields, all done uniquely. So they've all got a little bit of a different kind of look to them, which is quite cool. Uh, all the text and everything done across all the purity seals and everything that you'd expect with us here at sea. 
edge again. I love the sort of transitions on some of these reds as well, which are quite cool. All the silvers are all fully edge highlighted through multiple stages also. Uh, and I do really love the uh, the blue lenses and some of the bits that have been picked out with that blue just to add that extra color, not just on the weapons, but on the sort of lenses and other screens and things that these guys have got. So let's just go through the squad quite quickly just so you can have a look at them. Obviously there's 10. They're all fairly consistent in a sense of loadout. So we've got some halberds and we've got some hammers. Um, regarding the execution of them they're all super super well done i love the super vibrant saturated gold that's across the miniatures and the little details and things also as well use that free-handed detail there just on that loincloth uh, all done by brush and uh, really really cleanly and sharply executed again beautiful miniatures i do love these uh, sort of fire sort of lava bases that have been done for the force as well just to show that they are in the process of clearing up uh, a demonic incursion on some uh, misbegotten planet um, and we'll just have a look at this guy here at the front with the hammer uh, Again, very cool pose, just sort of advancing, swinging the hammer there, turning to bear on a target. You can see all the skulls and everything all fully painted and multiple stage highlighted. Um, again, really, really nicely executed. And you've got those sort of free-handed heraldries that are just on the shoulders and also on the tilt shields. Uh, pull forward another chap here from the front so you can have a look at him. Again, really cool weapons. Obviously, these halberds, all brush blended, as you expect with sort of power weapons and things when uh, when we do them, if they're not metallic. Uh, but again, really nicely and, and cleanly executed. You've got Titan just written there on his uh, on his sort of uh, shin, which is quite cool. I've got this guy here with a warding stave, uh, which is really cool. Let's just get that to focus for you guys. Uh, but yeah, really, really well done. Always been a big fan of Grey Knights, and uh, these guys do not disappoint. I uh, hope you obviously from the previous bit, you must have seen obviously all the Stripe Marines as well. Just really, really well done. And uh, again, the same consistency just on these Terminators. Pull forward one from the back so you can have a look at him also. Again, just blasting away with the sort of Storm Bolter and sort of uh, advancing or pointing with a hammer, which is quite cool. Uh, so that's this awesome, awesome Paladin. And you can see that sort of custom heraldry that's just on the shoulder guard there also. Uh, but really, really well done. Do hope that you like them so much. We've got some awesome walkers coming up, so stick around for those. So next we've got the Dreadnought from this force. Uh, two really cool walkers in the army. Uh, this one and then another one following this. Uh, but obviously you've got a really cool uh, Venerable Dreadnought here. Uh, again, Paul's done a phenomenal job on this miniature. Uh, just about to finally dispatch this blood letter that's been kind of half crushed on the base, which is really cool. Uh, nice little bit of narrative on the base as per our client's request, uh, just to show that the, the uh, Grey Knights are uh, dispatching and felling these foul demons that they are in combat with, which is really cool. You've got Titan free-handed down that little scroll just on the sarcophagus. All the little gems and lenses painted across the miniature. Uh, really nice section of red and white on some of the little sort of filigree and detail areas, like, for example, on the, the left hand facing as you look at it of that uh, sarcophagus. Uh, but really, really well executed. Again, you've got this subtle bluish kind of tinge to the uh, the steel and silver armoured area as of the miniature. Um, just really, really well done. Again, nice little cowling there in red on that flamer. Really do like the black fist. I think it just really denotes that part of the uh, the, of the dreadnought and just really shows the killy part quite nice. Uh, and again, really, 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 really cleanly executed across all the gold work. Uh, nice sort of really sort of warm and saturated golds uh, used on this also. Uh, but just really, really well done. And again, Paul had a thoroughly good job time painting this project. So that's the uh, Venerable Dreadnought. Up next, we have the final uh, model from the force. And I know it's one that you guys are going to like. So stick around for it. So next we've got the uh, awesome, awesome Dread Knight from this Grey Knight's Force. Uh, a really cool miniature uh, and Paul's done an incredible job on it. So let's jump in and have a look at it in all of its steel and doom. Um, so, so right from the get-go you can see this really cool volcanic base. And we'll start with the base just at the bottom first of all, just so you can see it. We've got this, uh, I don't know whether to say unfortunate or not, but this unfortunate blood letter that's um, kind of got in his way and has been uh, trampled on. Um, you can see there's some sort of corn and sort of uh sort of chaos sort of runes and sort of glyphs and things just on the base as well just to show that they are uh, they are purging a world of demons uh, again really really well done by paul this awesome sort of fiery lava base which is just awesome they got a bit of a wing here from a de uh, another demon that's been crushed underfoot here and then we've got the awesome awesome dread knight uh, again with its pilot just obviously encased in that suit which is really cool little extra bits of free hands just done onto the uh onto the model as well as you can see on this sort of on the tilt shield nice little sort of uh inquisitional eye uh, just done on there 
there. Uh, really nice deep crimson on all the red of the miniature also, which I think is absolutely lovely. Got some free-handed kind of uh, little markings and like a hammer and the thing done with a wing on here. Uh, and obviously got those striped white and red sections on there also, which is really nice. Uh, move around the back, you can see the super, super clean painting across all the areas of the metalwork, all edge highlighted. Little lenses and things all painted on the rear of the suit as well, just so you can see behind him as well. Nice little touches of narrative on there, just so they can see behind his uh, is quite nice. And again, you can see some scatterings of um, sort of demonic parts and shoulder guards and swords and things all on this base just to really give it the uh, the emphasis that they are purging a world of demons uh, which is really awesome uh, so just overall a great miniature to uh, to finish up this uh, commission uh, i do hope that you like it ever so much the hammers of titan are now off to purge even further uh, i do hope that you like it ever so much and i'll see you in the next one take care So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.